the kingdom of God is like a mustard seed in that it's something that grows small in our hearts and it grows and it grows and it becomes something just truly amazing as it starts to blossom and build into his big kingdom. The kingdom of God is like everybody loving each other. Ooh, God's kingdom is us living our lives for him and doing, doing his work. I think the kingdom of heaven is like love and as we adopt and receive God's love and we love others well in the way um, that God wants us to love them, then that love just keeps radiating and building and I think so that's how the kingdom is and how you build kingdom. <laughs> it's a community of people that care for you and show you the heart God has for you. The kingdom of God is like gleanings for me, where I have peace, I'm content, I have, there is so much grace here, and I'm able to grow and give that grace back. So the world can see the difference. The kingdom of God is a place where the natural laws of the world do not reign. The kingdom of God is like a field owner that cares about his harvest and he goes away and he hires managers over his field and he comes back and he expects harvest. It's the kingdom of God. To me, the kingdom of God is like a net that's cast into the sea and then fishermen pull it out and they have all this fish and then when it's full they like begin separating the good fish from the bad fish and that's kind of like what it will be in the end. The kingdom of God is loving God and loving people. The kingdom of God is wherever the king rules and reigns and what's good in the world who determines what's good in the world? Good is based on the character of God, because God is good. So everything that's good and loving and true is based on the fact that God is good, loving, and true.